to another episode of QTR videos. Today's how to draw video is on the season five Shotgun Melty Moment. All right guys, let's start off at the top of our papers and we are going to make a slightly curved line like this, okay? And then come to the top of that, uh, that curve here and we're going to make another slightly bent line coming across like this, followed by another curve line like this for the edge, okay? And then from here, let's connect these two sides by making another slightly bent uh, line like this, okay? Um, and then we're going to go ahead and at the top we're gonna add three uh, bumps here. Um, she has, um, I don't know, I think it's just part of her cake, but anyway, she has three of them. And we'll put the third one over here, like that. Okay, and um, let's go ahead and we're gonna start the cream. So we're gonna make a slight bump here and followed by another slight bump over here, okay? And then, um, let's see, we're gonna start to, to, let me see, come here. We're gonna make a line coming down like this. We're just gonna be working on making a lot of these texture lines. So I'm just kind of adding them here in the middle. I'm gonna be adding them everywhere. Here we're gonna curve up a little bit like this, okay? And then let's jump up here. We'll do come up and down and then up and down here as well. And same thing over here. Okay, and then um, over here, let's go ahead and come down and jumping back to this side. We're gonna come up a little bit like this and around, dip down to make a drip and back up like that, okay? And then let's go ahead and fill the rest of this in with some more lines. Um, so we'll put one here, here, Extend this one a little bit here. Add some more over here. Again, this is just so it looks like she has like a big thing of cream, okay? And then a couple more over there. And let's go ahead and add these two curved lines off to the side to start the rest of her body. All right, let's go ahead. From here, we're gonna come out so slightly and loop around like this for her first hand. And then from here, um, let's come over here we're gonna start her other hand coming out, looping around like this for her second hand, her right hand. And I am so sorry guys, I don't know what happened here. I don't know if I forgot to turn the camera on or if the camera turned off. Anyway, all I did was a slightly um, curved line um, from the left hand to the right hand. And then her feet are, thing thankfully, they're really simple. All it is is uh, two semi-ovals and that's it. I am so sorry, I don't know what happened there. Okay, let's go ahead and start her face and we'll do that by coming here at the bottom, coming up just ever so slightly and then a little bit more. And this is where her top lip is going to sit. So we'll make a line like this, that on the left side kind of loops up a little bit like, like that, okay? And then we'll start to come down for her bottom lip. So we'll come down like this, come to this other side and meet the bottom like that. And let's go ahead and draw a somewhat of a curved line right there and her chin down here. And then her nose is just a semicircle, a really tiny one like that. For her eyes, we'll make a curved line like this for the base, and then we'll go ahead and make the semicircle, connecting the two sides. And then of course, as you always know, we're gonna do the uh, crescent here, the curved line inside for the iris, and then a pupil, which is just a semicircle, like this. And once you finish that, uh, we'll add the two glare spots inside, which are two little circles, and her eyelashes. There are three of them. And then her um, eyebrow, which is just a small curved little bubble like that, okay? And then the other one, we'll do the same thing. So a small curved line like this, and then a semicircle connecting the two sides. And let's go ahead and do a a crescent or curved line here inside, followed by a semicircle, a small one for the pupil. And then the two small circles inside, her eyelashes. And let's go ahead and add that eyebrow as well. 
All right, guys, that's it for Melty Moment. She was a ton of fun to draw. I hope you were able to draw her along with me. I'm gonna go ahead and move on and start coloring her in. So go ahead and grab your stuff and come on back. Here are all of the colors that I will be using today. Uh, starting from the left, for the eyes, we have black, dark blue, and blue. And for her body and tracing, we have a brown, followed by a uh, light yellowish brown color, yellowish tan. Then we have an orangish brown, so it's not quite orange, but orangish brown. Um, followed by a beige for the cream, pink for the top part of her, she has a little bit of pink in there, lavender, and orange. Let's start off with her eyes as always. We'll take our black and uh, trace her eyes, color in the eyelashes, trace and color in the pupil as well. And once you finish that up, uh, we'll take the dark blue and we'll trace her iris. And follow that up with your normal blue here and color in the iris completely, giving her some nice pretty blue eyes. And then I'm taking my dark blue once more and I'm just gonna darken up the little corners and the little edges here. This gives her eyes some more definition. Um, all right, let's take our brown and we are going to trace her nose and her eyebrows, color them in, and trace her mouth. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and trace the rest of her body completely, the cream and all. Um, I know I'm going pretty fast here, so hit the pause button if you need to. Okay, and now I'm taking my brown again and I'm just gonna color in her mouth. All right, perfect. Now I'm taking my orangish brown here, not the regular orange, but the orangish brown, but it doesn't matter which one you use. You can use orange. I'm just adding an orange streak over here to the left and a little bit down here at the bottom right. Like that, okay, and then a little bit up here in this bump. All right, now I'm taking my lavender. She has a, a small touch of lavender right here next to this orange um, streak that we did here like that. And now I'll take my pink and I'm gonna color in the rest of it. Oh, actually first let me do a little circle here. She has a little glare right there. And then the rest of it, go ahead and color it in pink, including the other bumps up here. Okay, like that. Now I'm taking that yellowish tan color that I'm gonna be using for her and I'm just gonna color in that glare off to the, to the right. All right, and taking my brown here, I'm going to color in just a little bit down here underneath between the, the top and the cream. And taking my beige color, I'm going to uh, add some shadow to the cream and, uh, and kind of go over the lines a little bit just to make it look like uh, cream and not leave it just so white. Um, and then she has a touch of pink in the cream too. So I'm gonna take my pink and I'm just going to add a touch of pink off to the left over here, just a little bit. Nothing too dark, a little bit up here. That's about it, I'm just gonna touch this part up a little bit more, like that. Okay, um, and now I'm taking that, that yellow color again and I'm, um, I'm going to color a little bit over here, a little bit over here, and that's because she has a white glare spot in the center. And then the rest of it, I'm gonna color it in. With this color, this is just my base here, like this. And uh, now I'm taking that orangish brown color and I'm going to draw a line over here. She has a couple glares, so I'm just drawing these lines here in her hands and her feet. One over here in this hand and one up here. I think that's it, so, and oh, and of course her cheeks. So just draw them over here, her cheeks are white. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see, I'm gonna start coloring. Just kind of watch what I'm doing though, guys, because I'm not gonna color the entire thing in. She does have a touch of like yellow, so um, this hand and a little bit up here. Now I'm just darkening, pressing real hard. I'm adding a shadow all along this area here. Okay, um, then I'm going to take my orange, guys. I'm just gonna kind of touch up everything that I just did. I'm just gonna very, very lightly add a touch of orange just to bring out that orange color because to me this was looking a little bit more on the brown side. Not too brown, but a little bit. And I'm just coloring in the glare spot with the yellow ever so slightly. And now I'm taking my brown and I'm just gonna kinda darken up these edges a little bit. Just a tad, okay. And for her feet, we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm uh, taking my orangish brown, coloring her feet in completely, except for the little glares that she has, like this. 
And then from here, I'm gonna take my orange. This is where my orange comes in. For some reason, she has a bright orange shadow on her feet. So I'm just gonna color it in over here and a little bit along the edges. All right guys, that's it for Melty Moment. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think she came out really, really cute. What do you guys think? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video and you drew her and colored her along with me, then be sure to hit the like button and share your artwork with us on our Instagram or Facebook page. We'd love to check it out. Um, if there's another Shopkin that you want us to work on next, leave the name down below in the comments. All right guys, until next time, bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our Spanish channel.